Well, it has been a long time and I did a bunch of stuff in this house and I guess I can show you because today I ended up a little bit early. I mean, since I'm standing here, I had to do some makeshift heating because it is winter outside and it is cold. So I did a little bit elongated chimney tube because I mean this is really acting as a heating element right now because I mean they say that this has 5 kilowatt of power but yeah I don't think so. Anyway so I've been working on the electrical installation and I pulled all the cables out and I installed new wires basically. I just finished uh, installing switches, not permanently obviously because I fixed the walls, I did some uh, plastering, I mean I had quite some trouble with this one, uh, this one looks a bit more nicer. But anyway, uh, I, I did this because I had night shifts, so uh, yeah I worked during night basically and I did some stuff. Yeah, well, yeah, I was doing I was doing this electrical installation and I found some stuff, very interesting stuff. So, for example, this is a wall, right? There is some kind of hydro isolation that I was wondering about last time, but then there is a wall in front of the wall. And I was like, mm, why? Well, I I would guess that this hydro isolation was the problem because it was here and uh, it was here and it wasn't very greatly adhered to the wall so I removed it basically I mean removed the part that wasn't adhered I hope that this will be adhered better I mean oh I cannot tell but uh, this caused problems like this basically the wall starts cracking where the hydro isolation ended and obviously it's very stupid because the the isolation is installed on the inside you want to insulate the house from the outside like there's no other way it doesn't really matter because I basically damaged it here so I mean I, I'm not going to remove it because it will be unnecessary amount of work really I removed one window just to see how hard it would be it wasn't very hard. Uh, anyway, so yeah, the the electric installation took me like four weeks. Really, I mean, I didn't do as much stuff as there was. I mean, like for example, the light that is outside doesn't is not connected to anything. In the bathroom, the things are very primitive. There is one socket and one light and this is going uh, to the bathroom like there and up to the wall I guess I can show you from here maybe uh, do you see anything? well anyway so yeah I removed the bathtub that was interesting because I. <laughs> I realized that, wait a second, okay, let's go to the kitchen. This is easy, I mean, there will be a few tables, uh, again, some uh, light and a switch, but then I was looking here and I was like, wait a second, okay, okay. Now, I want the kitchen line to be here. So, okay, now there is like the oven, so the sink will be probably somewhere here, right? But wait a second, for the sink I need a like waste, right? Waste line. So I was like, okay, so there is the bathroom. So let's make it like here. I mean, I calculated the slope and everything and it was fine. But to do the waste, it is like, okay, here's, a, here's some tube, but I need to drill this hole and so to remove to drill this hole I have to remove the bathtub but <laughs> there is this bloody thing and it was 
it was completely like here, like built up. So it was like, what the fuck? So the way I removed this was absolutely stupid. You can see the marks here. I basically used diamond wheel and the angle grinder and like, like I, I cut some, I cut some slots into the brick and then hammered it out. Basically, it was insane amount of work. I wasted like week of time on here. And then to drill this hole because it is, it is fairly long. <laughs> to drill it, I used this tool, which is a piece of threaded rod with a carbide driller for the electrical boxes and I basically drilled the chunk then hammered the thing from inside because this is hollow right so I had to drill like some 50 millimeters then hammer out the stuff and I mean it took me about three or four days to drill the hole because <laughs> because the only thing I had at the time was this drill this drill drilled some massive stuff in this house <laughs> really when I was drilling this hole I re literally had to water cool the drill because <laughs> I did that by basically spraying some water into it <laughs> To fucking lower the temperature and still it wasn't enough well anyway and while I'm here <laughs> oh my god I, I cleaned the chimney right Jesus fucking Christ there was so much crap in here like literally I filled this whole wheel to the full, I think, twice. Like, so fucking much crap. And it is not that long chimney. Like, I, I cannot believe how this got to this point, but what the fuck. I, I probably have some videos so I can show you that. Wow. But anyway, uh, yeah, back to the electrical installation, I guess. So, I have put everything or all cables are going to the roof, as I originally wanted. Uh, apart from this light here, because this light is, and the socket here, and I need to fucking do the socket as well, because these are going here so I made the conduit thing here as I wanted as well and this is going to the distribution board so I'm pretty happy with this I mean it, it looks nice now the other funny thing is there was this sink right and so I was looking where the sink goes so I got a tube from here and yeah, it, it is still here, it went to there. Now, you would think that this is an old tubing that is like um, for the wastewater, but no, this is just, this is just like some 30 centimeter piece of tube and then it ends. Like, it just ends into the soil. Yeah, so I have started to look at these cables, but I was like, ah, no, no, no way. I, I am not getting this cable out. So, same with this. This is behind some soundproofing isolation. Wait a second. I can, I can see behind it. Like, how, how does it hold there? 
Like, I don't understand. But anyway, here are all the cables I pulled out and these are definitely not all the cables. As you can see, these are fucking... I cannot get there. Now there are also some cables that are going like behind a wall, which is in front of wall, so it is basically sandwiched in between. So I, I'm like, nope, I'm not getting that out. And then the cables to the original sockets that were here were going from under the floor. So there are some cables probably still there. And here, if you look closely in like the middle, there are also some cables still. I just cut them. I, I cannot get these out. And I A, I cannot cut these out and B I don't know where they are where they are going, basically. So they are they are they are they are there forever. These are a bunch more conduits for the wiring. These are for the roof installation. I mean there are two different profiles and I got this one but <laughs> well I will show you I will show you what the problem is because this is another roof truss issue that I have in another, in another house okay so here you can see all the wires basically come to this central point and go down and I would, I would say this is okay there is quite some space for them and I could fit, fit bunch more but a majority of them are going this way, only two are going this way, because there is only one room here. So, I would like to have uh, this channel here, in this orientation, basically. But, I cannot quite do it, because, well, there are a bunch of reasons. And there is a little, there is a little bit of brick, but I can, I can deal with that, I can deal with that. But, if I go there, there is this truss and that is a little bit problematic for me and I think it's fine to cut it there because if you look here it is resting on quite massive brick wall so you can see it is going from here all the way through here it is also providing a tension for uh, this A structure and there are some no not rods but yeah this is these are tensioning elements basically and these are connected to only the upper portion so this lower portion I think it is not under any stress apart from its own weight so I think I am pretty fine with cutting like small hole for this channel to go there I think I, I, I'm not really sure, so I guess <laughs> I would be happy if you could <laughs> say to me that yeah, that's that's absolutely fine, or what the fuck are you doing? Eh, anyway, man, I spent a week on this thing, like, okay, let, let me explain now. Okay, so I would say that this looks nice, if I may say so, but there are a few things <laughs> that are like, wait a second, what the fuck? So, I bought this uh, GFCIs combined with like uh, breakers, and so I was like, okay, so I get some these like uh, bus bars for them, and I, I cannot even explain what the fucking problem is because this is so fucking retarded. So, okay. I can put one wire into the one terminal. There's no space for more. And so like, okay, so I get bus bars and these bus bars are not compatible with this style of breakers or even any style of breakers, really. So I was looking, okay, there is special bus bar for this purpose. Uh, two months to get it. Okay, well that's not fucking good. I need this. So, okay, I got two type of bus bars, cut them, braced with silver. 
So, I mean, it doesn't look too suspicious. I mean, you can see this isolation here. I put some PVC tubing with shrink, uh, with heat shrink tubing. Uh, it's not great. It's really not great. But if, <laughs> and there is. There is this thing because there you have to have two bus bars, one for neutral and two for three phases. And so here it is very very obvious that there is a brace joint. I mean it looks like shoulder, so that I think that's the even worse variant. So this is very 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 stupid and I hope that uh well not that he doesn't notice this but this the regulations do allow to use soldered and brace joints or welded. So this is my only hope. Well, it's not only hope. I mean, I do have because okay, there there is another option for me. It's not good. That option is to use this for the neutral wires. There are these two fucking interconnects for phases. My only problem is... Well, I, I have many problems with this solution. A. It looks ugly as hell. B. It is chunky. Like, okay, let's say I use this thing and I put it here like so. It is much higher than the bus bar itself. And see, uh, if you fasten these screws for the two and a half newton meters that are like prescribed or recommended, there is good chance you won't get it out because can I show you kind of orthographic view? Yeah, these are as wide as the terminal itself. So if you deform this, there is no chance you will get it out. And fucking just these breakers cost like what's the fucking 500 bucks? Is it correct? Yep, that's correct. So they were expensive as fuck. So yeah. Uh, but anyway, so I'm not going to show this to anyone. Only if, only if he says that, man, this is absolutely unacceptable. There is no way I'll, I will allow this. And even then, I there is good chance I will, I will, I will say to him that fuck off, and I will try to call somebody else. But anyway, it's a nice and sunny day, and today the. Inspector was here and said, "Yeah, looks good." So I mean, th there is nothing to be seen here. I, I got some stickers for free from him. <laughs> I mean, anyway, I probably should buy some AVE stickers, like not to be operated by fuckwits. Anyway, so yeah, I mean, he looked quite closely at the thing that. I had there like soldered or braced with silver and like oh you did it this way? I mean, yep. Uh okay, that's interesting. Hmm. Cool. <laughs> I mean it is interesting. It's indeed very interesting. Anyway. Uh, now as you can see here the soil is a little bit wet and squishy. And this is a little bit uphill, so I was like, okay, I need to get out of here somehow. So let me get some stone, and that was interesting. I mean, like, okay, how, how much stone do I need? Like, uh, well, then I calculated it based on density. I, I, you can Google that. Like, I think I got two tons. Uh, so, so, yeah, so I told him, like, okay, so come down here, and then gradually go away as you dump the truck and yeah that didn't work as expected I had to do quite a bit of shoveling and I had to pay him and I had to go like to the headquarters there he basically dumped the truck and I couldn't get out so I had to shovel the 
stone for quite some while and at the last moment I was able to get to them and pay for the stone. Well, from one military airbase to another. I mean, why not, right? Fortunately, I got the information that they should be like improving the runway so they will have airfield closed for some few years. That would be that would be pretty amazing actually because then the airspace will be free. <laughs> I mean, it's just class C airspace, so no big deal, but still. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's about it probably, so see ya.